Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. I was doing some sewing earlier today and all these decks that you see here I had on my sewing table. So I moved into my bed and I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, a video showing my whole deck collection current to date. And I really don't plan on purchasing any more this year. And um, at the end of the year I may narrow this down a bit. So I'm going to start with what's already out here. I have the Shadowscapes Tarot, which I think everybody's very familiar with, and this was in my top fives. And then, now this is a Tarot, Oracle, and Lenormand I'm going to put in this video, just every deck I have. But Okay, so um, this is the Heart of Fairy Oracle by Brian and Wendy Froud. And here's another Brian Froud deck. I think a lot of people have this one, the Fairy's Oracle. And the, those two decks are similar, uh, but they are a little different. And I think by the end of the year, I'm going to probably settle on one and then give uh, one away of these two. I tend to really work with this one the most. I've had this one the longest. But I want to give this one a good fair shot, so I'm going to work with it a little bit in the spring and summer and see how I feel about it. And then, let's see, I have uh, like lavender and mugwort on my bed, so just ignore that. <laughs> um, let's see, this is the Hermetic Tarot. Several people are liking this deck. And this is a deck that I definitely will be keeping, for sure, for sure. And I think I will be keeping this one out uh, to work with over the next few minutes. And then here's the Tarot of the Old Path. I do really love this deck, but I am going to be setting it aside for a while while I focus on some other decks I want to focus on. Okay, and so here we have the Druid Plant deck. Uh, the Druid Plant Oracle, and then underneath that is the Druid Animal Oracle, and I do really love both these decks, um, but I tend to work with the plant one more than the animal oracle one. And then here is the, the Llewellyn Tarot, which I do like and will keep. Here we have the Madame Endora's fortune cards, which I do really like these. Here I have the Fairy Lenormand. I think this is a beautiful deck. It's not super practical for me for Lenormand just because of the size, but I still do like the deck, and I'm sure I will keep it. Uh, let's see, I also have the Chronicles of Destiny fortune cards. I really do like this and I want to spend some time with it, uh, but now is not the time. So this is going to be set aside to work with later. And then here is Journey into the Hidden Realm. And that's a Barbara Moore tarot deck. And I do like this deck, but uh, I feel like I work with it best in the fall. So I'll probably be setting that one aside. Okay, I'm going to clear these and then pull more out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I did have this, you know, like box to store decks in, but it's out of space. It's not. I need a more practical solution to what I've got going on. But in any case, let's start outside the box. So, <laughs> I have my Mystical Lenormand, which is my currently my best, most practical Lenormand deck. And I have this Arcana deck, which uh, I shared just recently. So everybody's uh, seen this. Okay, this is the, the Poet's Oracle, 
and this was given to me to try out from my friend over at Storytelling Tea and Tarot. And she created this deck, and this is a beautiful deck. And I've been going through it and taking notes, and I uh, wanted to ask her a couple of questions before I share it with everybody. But I do fully intend on doing that. This is my uh, Kipper deck. I did a video sharing this. And. Here is the Silhouettes Tarot, which when I did play with this, I really did like this deck. This was a cool deck. This was a gifted to me. I have, I think everybody has these, um, and I just got these last October, and I really enjoyed them. The Halloween Oracle and the Halloween Tarot, which certainly you could work with both of these all year round, but I like having these out in October. I just I like it. Um, let's see. Back here is my uh, Wizard's Tarot and my Thoth Tarot, which I've been mostly focusing on this past, well, ever since I've got it. Uh, oh, this is just a regular deck. This is just a regular, um, but it's cool, huh? just a regular plain deck, but uh, I'm interested in just regular cardamancy too, but I wouldn't do it with this deck. This is more of like a vintage -y kind of deck. Okay, and oh, I'm going to pause in the middle of this and ask, does anybody recognize this brand? This is a vintage box. It says Baby's Peppermints. Uh, GC and Co. On the inside, you can see a better. Uh, that's like just little mothballs in there. Image. What it looks like. I'm assuming this is from the 1920s, and I googled the life out of it, and I could not get a lead on uh, what this was originally for. I mean, you would think peppermints, but. I don't know, it kind of looks like she's smoking. I have no idea. Is she baby? I don't know. If anybody has a clue, I'd appreciate it. Alright, back to the cards. Okay, uh, so now in the box we have the Wildwood Tarot, which I do like, but I have not worked with very much at all, quite honestly. Let's see. We have the Dreadcroft Tarot. Same thing. Really like it. Haven't worked with it much. And both of those are Will Worthington decks. And I do like both of them. I just have not made the time to work with them. Um, let's see. Okay, here we have... This is the book for this Goddess Inspiration Oracle deck I have. Which would be... Here in this bag. Um, this book is to go with the Golden Dawn Ritual Tarot. So I do like that deck, and I may be pulling it out too. I'm going to focus uh, really on Hermetic decks, primarily the Thoth Tarot. The Thoth Tarot. Uh, but I also do want to work with that Wizard's Tarot. I'll, I'll, we'll see how it all works out. So this is the deck that goes with that book. Mm, I do like this deck. I don't like the back of it. I just, I don't know. It doesn't appeal to me. Let's see you. Oh, come on. Sorry. Alright, there we go. Here is uh, Lon My Lady Cat's deck and his wife, um, her name's escaping me right now, but his wife did the artwork. It should be on here, shouldn't it? Let's see. I know he gives her credit all the time. Well, I can't think of her name. In any case, I do love this deck uh, as far as 
the levels of knowledge and things you can get out of the all the different symbols that are put into this deck. The artwork, I'm ambivalent, but um, it's really a great deck, actually. Uh, I'll discuss more on that later. Here's my cute little... Uh, this is the Halloween Lenormand deck. I'm not going to pull it out of the box. It's a mini Lenormand. And that should just go with Halloween stuff. So yeah, for Halloween I have a Lenormand, a Tarot, and an Oracle deck. Then we have, oh boy, let's see. So this goes with Duquette's Tarot deck. And, okay. I also have the Hanson Roberts Tarot, which I really thought would appeal to me, and it just hasn't spoken to me that much. We have the Oracle of Visions by Tara Marchetti. I do like this deck. I may pull it back out. I love this one. I'm not sure why it's in the box right now. But I'm going to reorganize what's out and what's up. This is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. I really do love that deck. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> um, here's the Nature Whispers Oracle card. This is also a beautiful deck. Really great for spring and summer. Might maybe pull that one out. I don't know. I need to think about this. This deck, um, I thought it would appeal to me more than it did when I started working with it. It's the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck. And I just didn't really get attached to it. Here I have a couple of Doreen Virtue decks. I have her... Um, Angel Tarot cards, which actually I do like working with this deck. I haven't worked with it a whole lot, but I had some good insights when I did. And then I have her um, Past Life Oracle cards. Those were pretty cool. All this is just extra decks of regular playing cards. <laughs> and I probably... I got extras of all these Walking Dead ones because I know a lot of people that are into the Walking Dead and zombies and stuff, so I thought it would be cool to hand these out. And maybe I should just go ahead and do that and get them out of the box. Okay, I think, I think I did, I think I did cover everything. Okay, cool. If you hung out and checked it out, <laughs> thank you for watching. And I hope everybody's off to a good start on their week. And I will look forward to seeing you soon. And I wish you many blessings as always. Bye.